Bitcoin ATMs ready to move to El Salvador. Yesterday, it had been rumored that El Salvador ordered a few Bitcoin ATMs. Rumors say these ATMs are ready to be sent to El Salvador. A Twitter account tweeted last night. Just a couple weeks ago, the Salvadoran Congress passed President Nayib Bukele's Bitcoin bill. This made El Salvador the first country to take Bitcoin as legal tender. In addition to providing BTC legal tender status, the bill also includes a number of franchises. For instance, zero capital gains tax on BTC and tax obligations in Bitcoin. Additionally, El Salvador is granting permanent residency to anyone who invests 3 BTC from the nation. Additionally, the government announced it is building a Bitcoin wallet for taxpayers to use. Furthermore, the government said they would give a means for residents to immediately convert BTC to US dollars. One Twitter account shared images of numerous Bitcoin ATMs with the words, hashtag Bitcoin ATM is ready to ship out to El Salvador. Immediately the standing obtained a great deal of interest together with remarks. However, the government hasn't commented on the rumors up to now. But many people reacted to the tweet. Some asked what money that the ATM would dispense. Do ATMs convert BTC into fiat? Furthermore, it appears that nobody has the answers to those questions. El Salvador's strategy to embrace Bitcoin as a legal tender hit roadblocks this week. This comes as the World Bank stated it wouldn't assist the execution of the cryptocurrency. The World Bank says it's dedicated to assisting El Salvador in several ways. This includes transparency of regulatory and currency procedures. Furthermore, the spokesperson said that while the government had approached them for Bitcoin support, they responded that this wasn't something the World Bank could support because of the environmental and computational shortcomings. What if El Salvador adopts Bitcoin ATMs? El Salvador is the smallest and most populous nation in Central America. This is also a nation with a slow economic growth together with social instability. When speaking about El Salvador, people instantly think about the criminal activities of gangs, disappearances, migrants, etc. However, since the election president Nayib Bukele, he's vowed to change the state of El Salvador. In addition to policies aimed at removing and restricting the aggressive action of gangs, this dynamic young president has lawfully bid for Bitcoin making, El Salvador the first nation in the world to place an order. This cryptocurrency is on par with fiat money. In addition, a great deal of thoughts about payment, mining and application of Bitcoin in people's lives are still being discussed. And will the positioning of Bitcoin ATMs in this Central American state come true? And what will happen when El Salvador adopts Bitcoin ATMs? A Bitcoin ATM is an internet-connected kiosk which allows customers to buy Bitcoin or alternative cryptocurrencies with deposited money. Bitcoin ATMs aren't the same as automatic teller machines ATMs, that allow a bank's customers to withdraw, deposit, or transfer funds within one's bank accounts. Instead, Bitcoin ATMs create blockchain-based trades to send cryptocurrency to customers' digital wallets, frequently through using QR codes. The main difference between a conventional ATM and a Bitcoin ATM is that a conventional ATM permits you to withdraw money from your accounts while Bitcoin ATMs are usually connected to a cryptocurrency exchange platform. To use a Bitcoin ATM, you want to present an ID. For instance, you may use your passport or driver's license. The primary difference between online trade websites and Bitcoin ATMs is the availability and convenience they offer. Obviously, online trading websites are far more accessible as you simply require an internet connection and your smartphone or tablet computer to get the trading site. Also, the amount of choices is more when it comes to internet trading sites. These Bitcoin ATMs have the benefit of being very popular and convenient for the tech-savvy audience seeking to receive BTC. So with the overall level of technology savvy in El Salvador, it appears that individuals would feel more appropriate to transact on Bitcoin ATMs as opposed to on internet web websites. And frankly, if fiat money has ATMs, then a nation has legalized Bitcoin. Why should not there be Bitcoin ATMs for all to use? Subscribe our channel and check our organized playlist. Happy investing!